On this day in 1984, Celtic signed Morris Johnston from Watford. Celtic broke the Scottish transfer record fee on the 11th of October 1984 to bring Morris Johnston back to Glasgow for £425,000 from Watford, where he had scored 24 goals in his first 36 games for the First Division side. The move came just weeks after Watford had turned down a £700,000 bid from Tottenham Hotspur for the homesick striker who only wanted to play for Celtic. The news broke in the early afternoon and the player was laying it on thick speaking to John Quinn for the Evening Times that day. Before leaving Watford to fly to Glasgow for a meeting with some of his new colleagues in the media tonight, Johnston said, I am absolutely delighted with this move. It is a dream come true for me, for I have been a Celtic fan since I was a wee boy. By the time he arrived in Glasgow, Johnston had ramped the sentimentality up another notch. Ian Paul reported in the Glasgow Herald on the 12th of October 1984, Johnston arrived at Celtic Park last night wearing a Celtic scarf. I had one all the time I was England. And in a sense, that gesture told the whole story. Watford only reluctantly allowed Johnston to leave, Graham Taylor telling the Evening Times on the day of the deal, The only reason I am letting him go is that he has never settled here because he was so homesick and he said the only team he was going to play for was Celtic. Just in case anyone missed it, Morris Johnston really, really wanted to play for Celtic. Taylor also revealed that there was a clause in the deal stating that if Johnston was sold to another English club within the three years of his Celtic contract for more than £400,000, Watford would be entitled to 50% of the fee. With the benefit of hindsight, most Celtic fans probably wished they'd never heard the name of Morris Johnston. But that day in 1984, his signing was cause for great elation. Davy Hay was quoted in the Evening Times, I feel Morris Johnston can go on to become a truly great player for Celtic. With almost the entire board of directors gathered at the press conference to bask in the moment, Ian Paul wrote in the Glasgow Herald, Celtic chairman Desmond White could not resist pointing out that the Johnston transfer would confound our critics who seemed to think that we would never spend any money. Not for long though, it was the last big money signing they allowed Davy Hay to make until a few days before they sacked him three years later. A big crowd turned up to see Johnston's debut against Hibernian on the 13th of October, but it would be the following week before he scored his first goal in a 3-1 win at Tannadice on the 20th of October. If things had turned out differently the week before Johnston signed, Davy Dodds, instead of Morris Johnston, could have been in the Celtic team that day. But United turned down Celtic's £300,000 bid, and the rest is, unfortunately, history. <laughs>